You already know what it is. It's your boy Lay back with another reaction, another review, another episode. A and F, you up to bat. It's your boy Lay back. Welcome back to my channel. Hey, two things we got to do. You got to hit that subscribe button. I'm drinking this water. You already know what it is, man. Elevate more in 2024. Elevate more in 2024. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the notification bell. Stay up to date with all the videos. Before we get into this, y'all been hitting me up like, yo, laid back. Where's the NF Hope album reaction? Just to reiterate, I did it. We was live on YouTube. It was crazy. We had thousands and thousands of people in here. And then they took it down as I was live. So we went over to Twitch. It was up for a while. Then I went over there and streamed it again on Twitch. So I don't know if y'all was tapped into the channel or not. And you know, after it's up there for a few weeks or something like that, I think Twitch take it down too. So that's what happened. Album was crazy. But I think this is an old NF Live. I never seen them on Instagram Live before, but I wanted to just check it out. This is an old one, so I ain't gonna act like this is brand new. But I just wanted to see how, you know, how he interact with his people and what's the questions people was asking him let's go ahead and get into it though this is for the real nf fans out there fire squad was popping let's get it Twenty seven thousand people hang on i'm just reading these uh someone said his clouds based on a true story mm. um no I literally, me and Tommy made it, or we started making it, I think, last year. Um, I love movies. Um, I the real NF fans know he loves the movies. You can tell how the cinematic sounds of almost all his records. Let's go. I don't know. We just, we were in the studio one time, and sometimes we just mess around with ideas. And Tommy has like the most amazing, he does a lot of TV and film stuff. So Tommy is his producer. So he'll play sound sometimes and we'll be like, oh man, that's like straight out of a movie. And then a lot of times we'll try to manipulate it to where you can use it in a song. And then I can't remember exactly how it happened, but one of that's us dope. was like, we should do like a a story, like an, like an actual movie or scene or something. And then we we were going. Now that reaction is up. You can go and check out NF Cloud's reaction on my channel. That shit was crazy. Going back and forth about a gas station, a robbery. And we initially, I'd have to ask him, we were thinking about some kind of ending. And then when I was writing it, I just went a different direction at the end just because I, when you're in the moment, sometimes you just don't know what's going to happen. And it just ended up working out I actually wrote the song pretty quickly that's dope um the video i loved shooting anybody who's on my sets for shooting music videos i'm a, kind of a pain in the butt perfectionist um, but they usually end up turning out fire um, just want to say thank you to everyone who was on that shoot there's so many talented people. That's def super humble guy, too, man. That's what I like about NF, too, man. Super humble and grateful for the people around him. I like that about NF, man. One of my favorite things to do is just seeing all the people, other people that have different jobs on stuff. There's so much that goes into videos and people don't even realize. So thank you to Patrick, uh, my video guy, See? for all his work. See? Super grateful. Shout out to you, NF, man. We still need that interview, though. And, uh, I'm glad you guys liked it. I mean, I know it was like something different. It's probably not one of those songs that people will, like drive down the road and listen to all the time, but it was just more something cool. I want to try something different. I respect that. These comments. I'm just reading through these. A story a sequel someone asked me if i'm excited to be a dad uh yeah i mean <laughs> it's crazy to think about having bringing a kid into the world mm -hmm. so me and my wife are really excited 
That's dope, man. Nate the dad. Shout out so to him. To talk family. about story, that's what I was just talking about. But if you have like specific questions or about any of the songs, so happy for your opinions on pineapple on pizza. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, I'm just trying to find one. It's prideful about your wife. Uh, someone said were the collabs done in person no good question um with hobson i can't it was so long ago we did the song so long ago um somebody said are you still a christian i was gonna release it as a single he may even remember better than me uh when i was on tour or just getting off tour and then it just obviously COVID and everything. And then I just wasn't sure what I was going to do. Held on to it forever. Now, this is a comment right here. I love your songs. Helps me get through my days, especially depression days. If NF Music has helped you through a depressed day, drop me in the comments. Drop me in the comments, man. So we had that song for so long. Um, but... Yeah, we just went back and forth, sent him some beats, or sent him that beat. I can't remember how many beats I sent. Collab um, with Logic. But him and uh, Tech Nine, both awesome dudes, super talented. Um, and they both killed it. Someone said, what's your favorite album so far? Mm. Um... Before he answers, what's your favorite end of album too? I don't know. I think this search is probably my favorite album. That shit fire. Um, personally, it was up to this point the search, but this point, hope is crazy. Especially that careful joint. Oh my god. Long. It was a little long, I thought, but I just kept making songs and making songs, and then, uh, you know. Once I got to the end of it, I couldn't feel like I didn't feel like I could cut any songs. Um, but that's probably my favorite project. Uh, the mixtape I actually like a lot. Um, I think there's a couple fresh things on there, and I just felt like I could just rap on it and just do something a little different. Mm. I got to search on vinyl record and listen to it every day. What was my favorite player. song in the mixtape? This is a question people always ask. Vinyl is crazy. Um, I don't know. I think. I don't know exactly. I'm, I suck at that answering that question because it really just depends. Drifting was made a while back. I thought that song was kind of unique and cool. Just how the track was. Uh, I thought story was unique. Um, I like that's a joke. I thought clouds was cool. He liked the whole joint, pretty much. What's the meaning behind story? Someone said, "Do I see the growth?" I I didn't get to read your whole thing in my voice or my rapping or something. Uh, yeah, I cringe at so much of my old stuff. Uh, Man, what? Ain't that the truth right there? Being an artist, you know what that means. I'm talking about any type of artist. Painter, rapper, singer. You go back and look at some of your old stuff and be like, man, whew, that was kind of tough to look at. Um, but that's just part of being an artist and exactly. being a creative. I feel like exactly. you get to witness. It sucks that it's out there, but you, you get to. I listen to back. Me and Tommy were listening back to. Um, old stuff the other day and we both were like because <laughs> we've been working together now for like seven years or more I don't even know that's dope that's and dope. you listen back to the stuff that you've done and it's like terrible I think my writing's terrible things I'm doing with my voice things I'm saying um, but you know that's just part of growing as an artist 
I would That's encourage true. anyone who, I mean, I sucked so bad when I started making music. So if you want to make music or do something, you, Come on. you might suck in the beginning. But Come on. I don't know. You might as well just try. That's what I say. Just try at least. And you might, you might, you might surprise yourself. Yeah, someone just posted a lyric from intro. I love intro, but that's a perfect example of like the beginning. Mm. Somebody said I'm drunk. <laughs> someone said any more music videos coming from the mixtape. Um, it's possible. I'm trying to work on a full length record. Um, obviously this one just came out, but intro was awesome listening to it now. But you actually been a comedian if rapping never worked Sorry, out. I'm just trying to read these. You prefer slower song or faster pace? Mix Um, it depends what mood that I'm in. I like making music that's like moving mm. but i guess you know you can have that from a fast pace i like me making music that's moving i haven't heard an artist say that in a long time and especially you talking about a rap artist making music that's moving that's very profound a song i love the trust song um on the record i like the chorus i just like how the whole thing feels um but then i like prideful a lot Prideful music like that, I'll listen to a lot of stuff like that when I'm driving down the road. Who is your top three artists right now? I said Layers was crazy. Yeah, I love that one too. I rewrote the beginning of that song like 10 times. I just did not know how I wanted it to go. I just have to see sometimes I'll write something and then rewrite it like 10 times. Perfectionist, man. Will you collaborate with Eminem? I wonder if you're going to read that one. Drifting, what was the process like? Um, at some point, I think Drifting was going to be on the next project, which I'm glad it wasn't because I don't think I would have wanted it on there. Sometimes I'll start making songs right after, like, right after the search happened. I'll start getting in the studio making stuff, and then I hear mm -hmm. it later, and I'm like, oh, man. It feels dated. Mm. Um, and that could have ended up being one of those songs. I don't know. But Drifting was really left field for me in the beginning. Like, the, you guys obviously never heard the beat. It was very similar to what it was, but it didn't. That, that humming sample on the top of it is me. Mm. Um, and I added that later, and it completely changed the feel of the song in a wow. way that I loved it. So, um but the That's process of that song was like me and a lot of times I can make music that sounds a lot different than what I normally do. It's just whenever I try doing it, a lot of times I, I don't like it or I feel like it sucks in some mm -hmm. way. Um, me and Tommy laugh about that <laughs> in the studio all the time um, because it's not that I can make a whole record that sounds like nothing I've ever done before. But sometimes wow. I hear it and I feel like it sounds like everything else or whatever. And I always end up steering us in a different direction. But, yeah, Drifting was, that was a cool one to make. Uh, originally, it didn't even have the big rap verse at the end. It just had a piano outro. And then uh, I every time I heard the song, I was like, man, I feel like it needs to end differently or something needs to happen. And then we ended up. So he basically telling you like what's his process like. Sometimes he writes songs ten times over, the lyrics over ten times. Sometimes he listen to it, don't like it, add a piece later and love it. Sometimes he does something completely different that he's never done before. Then it sounds similar to what he think other people is listening to or what's out right now, and he scraps it, or so different that he thinks it's trash. If you are an artist, you can relate to this type of stuff right here. Trying to jump out and do something completely different. Sometimes you be hesitant to be like, man, I mean, is it fire? Because sometimes you will go back and listen with your own ear and it sound completely different than when you laid it. It's different, bro. 
all that at the end. Someone said, were you planning on putting Pay My Dues on the mixtape? No. Um, Pay My Dues was supposed to just be a single. Um, obviously, if my singles fit on my records, like why did, um, if it fits, then I'll put it on a record just because I don't see the, a reason why not to or right. why not. But uh, Pay My Dues was not supposed to be on there. And then. Once I decided, oh, I'll just put out a mixtape of some songs that could have been on the record or wouldn't have been on the record or whatever. I was like, I might as well put that one on there. I love that song. I noticed you shot the car scene of Clouds in Tennessee, but... Which track right. took the longest to make? Um, Good question. Uh, probably Good question. Clouds, Story... I feel mm. like it was tricky. I honestly don't know how Tommy mixed that song. There's so much craziness stuff that people don't realize with mixing. Uh, he does, obviously, and he could explain this way better than me. But I do so much yelling, and then mm -hmm. I come down with my vocal, and it goes so all over the place. Everywhere. Um, he has to do a lot of things yep. with mixing and compression. Compression. And just, EQs. Getting my voice to still pop out, but make it feel big yep. in the big sections. So that song I felt like was really tricky, but obviously even more for Tommy. Just the writing side for me was tricky. Um, that makes it had to be crazy. Because sometimes I feel like things can be on the edge writing-wise of being corny. Mm. And whenever I feel like something might be corny, it's sometimes I, I just don't, I, I don't know. Like, the video for a story, I was like, man, I had to get this right, or this is going to feel dumb mm. to me. So that was a tricky thing with story for me. And then, yeah, Tommy, I'm sure, will make a video or him make a video, but just feed, describe. He he does everything, man. He can mix, master. That's dope. Um, he's crazy. Swiss Army Knife. More questions. Are you excited to be a dad? He already answered that, but maybe you late to Someone the Someone said, are you currently working on more music? Uh, yeah, I'm always working on stuff. As we see. Someone said, how do you get out of the writer's block phase? Great question. Great uh, question. I definitely get writer's block. Sometimes Great question. Sometimes I just don't feel inspired, or everything I write just feels like whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you get out of it? How do you get out of it? I don't know. Being an artist, sometimes you just have to Push keep through. trying to do it. And then randomly one day, I'll go from not being able to write anything for like two weeks to writing most of a song in a day. Mm. So. Persistence is basically what he said. All right. We got one more minute. I'm getting off here. Somebody said, Nate, I got some Frosted Flakes. <laughs> what should we uh, expect? Will there be a video for Trust? Uh, I don't know. That'd be dope. I, we talked about it at one point. It just didn't work out timing-wise with some things I was trying to figure out. Shout out to NL. Well, anyways, thank you guys for all the support on the mixtape. I really appreciate it. Um... Yeah. All right, man, that was NF on his Instagram live. Obviously, this is right after he had dropped the Clouds mixtape, which was super, super fire. Like I said, all of the reactions is up on my channel. You can go back and check it out, man. If you are an NF fan, you probably done seen the reactions already, but it's always dope to go back and listen for the first time and watch the reactions and see how exciting it was and see what it was like back in those times it brings back a lot of different memories and stuff like that but like i said man i did do the hope album it was super dope youtube hated on me i know y'all still be asking months later so that's why i was like man let me go back check this nf live out because i never seen it and i wanted to check it out you know what i mean so i was like let me just do a reaction to it and also update you guys about what happened with that reaction what why it's not on my channel and people thought i was slipping slacking 
I was on it as soon as it came out. We was live streaming. It was the craziest live stream I've ever did on my channel. The craziest. The numbers was crazy. We was having a ball. I was in here sweating. It was crazy. It was super dope. Unfortunately, it wasn't able to be saved and uploaded on the channel, man. But I wanted to check it out and see NF man and, and get inside his mentality, especially when he's on live and talking with his people, man. He got a couple of more of these up on YouTube. Y'all let me know if y'all want me to check out a couple more of these. But I wanted to check it out, man. I fuck with NF. Y'all know that. Super dope artist. Super grateful. Super humble. And super just down to earth dude, man. But you already know what you got to do, man. Till next time. Self-love and positivity. Fire Squad, I got you. And you know it. Hey. Pow.